Hello, how are you everyone? Today in our, uh, my class, you will learn about critical and creative thinking overview to PBL approach. PBL is actually uh, an acronym for problem-based learning. So it's a, a way of teaching and is actually a, a new approach of teaching in classroom. So I would like to share with you um, further on what is PBL. So for our learning today, our objective for the uh, learning outcome is so that by the end of the topic, you may respond to issues related to critical and creative thinking. All right, uh, what is PBL, problem-based learning? PBL is a learning method that uses the real problems that are relevant and meaningful as the focus in the learning process. So this is defined by a uh, quotation from UTN in 2005. And previously, according to Smith, 1983, PBL provides an environment in which students can draw upon period knowledge, learning uh, with the real world context and reinforce knowledge through independent and small group work. So therefore, um, PBL is actually a medium of teaching and learning where students can apply the real world problem with the field that they are studying. So uh, what are the history of PBL? PBL actually started 30 years ago from a faculty of medical from uh, North America. So actually in the fa medical faculty, they have difficulties to, to disseminate knowledge and practical experiences to the medical uh, students and therefore they are looking forward what are the alternatives of teaching and learning that can provide students with real experience within the real problem uh, in the real world. So therefore they uh, chosen a PBL and is a more student-centered learning compared to the previous uh, way of learning where uh, which is the lecturer's centered learning. So therefore uh, PBL is not only uh, about the process of learning but is actually included with curriculum and process of learning. So it's not only that you, own, uh, you have to change the content of your uh, syllabus or curriculum, but actually it goes together. Okay, now, uh, the definition, uh, what is PBL? is actually from the learner's side of uh, uh, point of view is that learner acquisition. We hope that by um, applying uh, PBL, the student may inculcate a critical knowledge, problem-solving proficiency, self-directed learning strategies, and team participation skills. And the process replicate the commonly used systematic approach in problem-solving and challenges that are encountered in real life. This is quoted by Barrow and Kelson. So, uh, other definitions is that PBL is, is just provides stimulus for learning and others mention that PBL is a way of learn to learn eh? how you want to learn so it provides a platform learn how to learn in other definitions it's actually about how you apply your knowledge into an ill-structured problem and you are the expert on how to solve the problem and actually for another point of view, uh, PBL is actually an active learning uh, towards uh, to develop the students uh, learning framework for modules, courses, programs and so on. So the principle of PBL actually is that uh, is the problem, the problem which is sometimes we call it a trigger, is a starting point in the learning process. So, the lesson on PBL approach is more to student-centered learning. The students were given guidance on how to solve a trigger or a problem. So lecturers are not doing lectures anymore. So lecturers have to be creative in, in generating an appropriate ill-structured problem 
or trigger related to the topic. And the uh, lecturer role is uh, as a facilitator or counsellor or motivator for the student. So the trigger or the problem is based on real situation. So why? Why PBL? To boost the student's confidence level. Then we hope also with the PBL, the education outcome that are desired from it is that students learn independently and then active contributor in the class because normally the lecturer is active but the student is passive. So with PBL, this will be changed. And finally, concerned citizens. That one is for the educational outcome. Now, on the uh, human development, we want the student to develop balanced human development, which is cognitive skill and global awareness, where the cognitive skill, the student learn about critical thinking, about how to get information. And other part of it is that the knowledge that the student gain with the activity in PBL will develop their global awareness, let's say uh, through cross-cultural activity or civic literacy or uh, any um, communication skills which you acquire during your teamwork activity. So with PBL, uh, the intention of the education is to uh, develop balanced human development. So uh, actually uh, with PBL, through the concept of Excel Leadership Development Program. So the approach will start with five ladders. What is the five ladders? So ladders one, ladder one is about fila table. What is fila table? Fila table, F is facts, I is idea, learning issues, and action. And ladder two is about student self-directed learning. So information previously, which, which is uh, provided by the lecturer, now the student will gain their own information. They will search for the information. Letter 3, compilation of facts and preparation for presentation. This is letter 2 and letter 3 will be self-directed learning. Where the student, letter 2, the student will go and look for information. Letter 3, they will come back and they will gather all the information without the assistant uh, the, the presence of the lecturer and letter 4 they will do a presentation which the format being given by the by the lecturer and letter 5 they will do their reflection what they learn throughout the five uh, letters five activities that they've been through throughout the PPL process of learning so uh, in detail the about the letters will be form to you in another video and for now that's all thank you